What's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're breaking down Norwegian wood in the chord melody style, but because this song is kind of played in the chord melody style anyways, this would also make a great version for you to play and sing along with. Printable tabs for this tutorial and all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon. You'll see links here in the notes. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. You'll also see a direct link to this tab pinned in the first comment. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons via Zoom, Skype, or any of these types of platforms. Time to break it down. Grab your ukulele, brain, attention span, follow me on in, and let's learn how to play this classic song together. Come on in, let's do it. All right, so let's zoom in and learn the chords first. Okay, so let's get these chord shapes down. We have a G shape up here, which is gonna start off the song, open G string, 7th fret, 7th fret, played with your ring finger and your middle finger, index finger on the 5th fret of the um, A string, G chord. We're also going to flatten that out and play 7, 7, 7, and if you hit the open G string, that's okay, and this is the G6. Come down here, we're going to see, if you take your G shape, remove your middle finger, you have a G chord. Replace that, I'm sorry, G suspended too. Middle finger down, G chord, pinky finger down, G suspended four. Okay, we're also gonna see a traditional F shape. Ring finger, third fret, C chord. We'll be seeing a G minor. We're gonna play up here, O, seven, six, five. And we're gonna play, um, the G minor down here, which is O, two, three, one. A minor shape, but you're gonna play with your, this third fret here. So you can either play with your middle finger and your ring finger on the third fret, or your index finger and your ring finger. Two, O, O, three, it's an A minor chord. You're also going to see a D seven chord. Okay, so those are all the chords we need. Why don't we back out just a little bit and let's put this song together. All right, so we've learned the chords, the different chord shapes. Now it's time we learn part A, what is known as the verse. Okay, so part A, the first four measures, this is in three, four time, one, two, well, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna see a lot of strums. They're gonna go one, two, and three, one, two, and three, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So go ahead and practice that. Cover the strings, don't worry about a chord. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, okay? All right, so index finger. Fifth fret of the A string, seven, 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 oh, sorry, oh, seven, seven. The melody is the D note. The melody goes five, seven, five, three, two. So you're going to play this, strum it through with your thumb because you want the melody to pop. Then you're going to give it a down, up, down. One thumb, switch to the index finger, two and three. One, two, and three. Roll over with your ring finger because now the melody is this E note. Strum through those three strings with your thumb. And then we're gonna play five and seven. And I'm using my thumb to play these two strings. Five and seven. Slide the same shape down two frets to three and five. Play them both at the same time. Keep this finger down, remove your ring finger, and get it back down. Now you have three and two. Play it again. I'm sorry, actually here, when you get there, switch to the full G chord. So you get one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Through with your thumb. Two and three. Remove your middle finger. Through with your thumb. Pinky, third fret. And then regular G. So that last measure goes sus two, sus four, regular G. So that's what's happening on the A string on that last measure. Open, three, two. 
So these four measures together, you get one, two, and three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, three, boom. Open G string will be the first note on the next measure. Let's play these four one more time, nice and slow. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three, one. All right, we're going to up the next four measures. And here, well, that open G we've already played. One, two, and three. Index finger. Then make an F. You're going to strum through with your thumb. But see how my thumb stopped here and didn't play the A string? Our melody is this F note here, first fret of the E string. So you're going to strum through with your thumb. And you're not going to play this string here. One, two, three. Okay. And then from there, you're going to ring finger third fret of the A string. This is cool. Our next melody note is this E note because our melody goes. So to make this E note pop and it's over this C chord, we're going to use our thumb on the C string and our index finger on the open E. And we're going to pluck these two notes at the same time. The C note, C string, implies our C chord, and the E is our melody note. And then from there, you'll fret the second fret, well, you'll fret a G chord, and you'll play the second fret, the D note, with your thumb to finish that, which is the first beat of the third measure. So really slow, you get one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. The last measure of these four, which would be on the furthest side to the left, I think it's this side, but I don't know, it might be a mirror image, maybe this side. The last measure has no melody. So it's all index finger, down, down, up, down. These four measures, nice and slow again, one more time. One, two, and three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's put those together with the first four, and we have part A. Here we go, part A. One. Cool, because that's the bulk of the song, right? If you play that, that's recognizable instantly, and people are going to go, oh, Norwegian Wood. Okay, so now that's the first intro. You play it instrumentally, and then the rest of the song goes part A, B, A, B. So this is where the singing starts. The only little detail that's different in the singing, if we bring up those second four measures, is the last one, instead of going down, down, up, down, we're gonna go down, down, up, boom. And we're gonna play an open G string because there's a G note leading to the bridge. So you get one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. All right, and then we start part B. So let's take a look at part B. We're jumping up to that G minor we talked about. We're gonna play all four strings, O, seven, six, five. Then come up, index finger, or you can use your thumb and play the fifth fret on the second beat, one, two, and the third beat, open G, fifth fret, one, two, three. You'll do that again, except the next time you're going to play the third fret. You're going to go one, two, three. So those two measures you get one, two, three, one, two, three. Make the G sus chord, go through one, then make a G minor. So you go one, but when you make the G minor, you're only going to play the first fret, two, and the third beat, the open G and the first fret. So you get one, two, three. The fourth measure here is the one where we need to pay the most attention. We go down with our thumb, because we have a melody here, but it goes one and. And this is the only off beat in the whole song, one and. So you're gonna get your pinky down on the third fret and you're gonna pluck it on the way up. One and. Then you remove the pinky and strum down with your index finger. One and two. 
third beat, it's the first measure, but you're going to play the whole chord with your thumb. So that measure really slow. One and two, three. One and two, three. These four measures at the same time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One and two, three. Without counting, let's go ahead and play through it. And I'm going to finish on a C chord because that's the first beat of the next four. So we get one, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, so the next four measures are up. We strum through that C with our thumb. One, two, and three. Down, up, down. Then again, one, two, and three. No melody. One, two, and three. Down, down, up, down. Second fret with your middle finger and slide to four. One, and. You're going to play this C chord. Open G. Four, three, three. O, three, O, four, three, three. Okay, so you're playing these two with one finger. Two, and, three, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, one. To a normal C. Two, and a, uh, well, one, two, and three. Open G string. So these four measures, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Okay, now this part B is 16 measures, which means it's twice as long as part A. Good news is, though, we're going to see here the exact same thing. These next four measures are the same as the first four. So we play through and we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, three. We bring up the next four and it's not a C chord, it's that A minor we talked at the intro. So you, you play a C with your index finger here. One, two, and three, one, two, and three. So that's the same rhythm so far. And then we make this D7 one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So this last four is a lot of strumming. We get one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. That's part B. So let's play through the entire part B from the top, nice and slow with the tabs up. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and then after part B, we go right back to part A at the start. It goes A, B, A, B, A. And then you would just finish on that G chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to play it like this. Intro, part A, part B, outro. If you wanted to make it longer, you would play part A and part B one more time. Okay? So why don't we go ahead from the top? From the top. One, two, three. folks Norwegian would.
Thank you so much. You lovely learners. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the lesson. If you made it this far, that means you learned the song. That's really, really cool. Good vibes. Why don't you go ahead and play it and tag us at 10 Thumbs Pro, upload it to Instagram, and we'll share it on our story. And until next time, think about becoming a Patreon. It will accelerate your learning. It's cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And until next time, please subscribe. Um, we'll see you next Wednesday or Saturday, Monday for guitar lessons. Life is good, friends. Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day. And as the love or as the great philosopher Socrates once said, love peace and chicken grease. Random solo.